What is going on, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with the wrap round. We're going to be breaking down the NHL action going down on Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. Just a reminder, you know, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up if you like this content. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We appreciate all the love and support here at Pick Dogs. That Pick Dogs and, for, you know, for more specifically to me, the wrap round would not be where it is today without all the love and support that the Pick Dogs family have shown us over the years. So thank you guys so much for that. If you guys are looking for my best bets on the board, make sure you head to pickdogs.com. Click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Got plenty of action on the board today. Got a lot of college hoops. Got uh, some NHL and NBA on the board too. Um, but the best value of everything, you can go with the daily pass with me to, you know, we can build up that bankroll. The best value though is to go long term. Makes the plays a lot cheaper. And you know, for me today, the uh, the three day pass, which is going to cover you pretty much up until the weekend. It's actually less than buying each of uh, Wednesday's daily packages individually. So it's definitely something that you want to look into. Get the most bang for your buck. You can also pair me up with uh, one of your other favorite handicappers or any of your other favorite handicappers as part of a, uh, excuse me, as part of our multi-capper promotion. Uh, but you know what? That's that's for, uh, for, for later today. Right now, we're going to be looking at a three-game NHL card, our last NHL card before the All-Star break. And the wraparound is going to be uh, put on ice for, for about a week. But doesn't mean we have to stop making money here you know the drill you guys ready i'm ready let's get into it our first game on wednesday's card takes us to little Caesars arena where the detroit red wings take on the ottawa senators and you know the ottawa senators have been able to pick up some solid wins here as of late you know they, they won back-to-back -back road games last time we saw them away from home they've won back-to-back -back meetings in this series um and they've won let me go back here you know five of their last nine games but this is still an Ottawa team at 6-13 and on the road this season. The Detroit Red Wings playing some of their best hockey of the season, especially over the course of this homestand going into the All-Star break. You know, wins over Vegas, Philadelphia, and Tampa Bay, allowing two, zero, and one goals in those three games. Took a loss against the Dallas Stars, but again, they're not going to win every single game. And the Detroit Red Wings, they, they look like they're back right now. They're 14-8-4 and at home. They're playing the much better hockey on home ice. Got to go with the uh, Detroit Red Wings to take this one at minus 118. Now we head to the Bridgestone Arena where the Nashville Predators take on the Los Angeles Kings. And once again, the Kings continue to be priced like the old Kings of earlier this season, where they were winning games left and right, but it has simply not been the case anymore. This Kings team has lost 14 of their last 16 games. They're 1-8 and eight on the road in those nine row games. Remember, the Kings used to be able to say, hey, even if we're struggling at home where they have this season, they've won just 8 of 23 home games this season. They used to be able to say, well, at least we can go out on the road and you know get back on track. Well, now... Hasn't been the case. 14 and 10 if you combine the overtime and regulation losses for the Kings. They are 22 and 25 on the year. A far cry from what this team was to start the season. The Nashville Predators usually play their best hockey at home as it is. They have gotten a better record on the road um, from a point perspective, but pretty much 13 and 12 home and away. Still much better than what we're seeing from the Los Angeles Kings at this point. I got to go with the Predators here at the, at the cheaper price at minus 105. And our final game on Wednesday's card takes us to the Honda Center, where the Anaheim Ducks take on the San Jose Sharks. And don't look now, but the San Jose Sharks have all of a sudden picked up some wins as of late. They, they, they've done this before. I mean, they were on a hot streak earlier this season and uh, then cooled off in a big way. Now heading into the All-Star break, they've won four of their last five. Granted, a lot of those came at home. And um, you know, the one road win came against a slumping la kings team but their wins nonetheless now they have a chance to exercise some demons on the road you know last time we saw them in a sustained road trip they were held to one goal by the blackhawks they were shut out by buffalo they were beat up 7-1 by toronto but i still think that the value here is with the san jose sharks you know these two teams have split the last four meetings granted anaheim's had a lot more success going back the last couple years um but in no way shape or form do i want to lay minus 182 with the Anaheim Ducks. I mean, sure, the Ducks have been able to pick up wins here and there, but this is still a Ducks team that's three and six in their last nine. Does nothing for me here. Like I said, the Sharks are playing with some momentum, playing with uh, with some value on their side here. So give me the Sharks here at plus 150 to round things out. That's it. That's all the NHL action for 
Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. Just a reminder, if you like this content, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell in the description of this video below to make sure that you're notified when the newest and freshest content drops here at Pick Dogs. If you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium, and make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.